This is Mia, and Mia is a female wheat and terrier. And the first thing we did was put the harness on Mia. This is the harness. We put the two back legs through the holes, and then we put the straps over the back to hold the harness on. And then we would clip her in. Actually, the, we would do the measuring of her, the, the width of the back end and that was about six inches. So we adjusted the back just by way of pushing the buttons and adjusting the back so that Mia has extra room on each side for the width. The next thing we did was we figured out Mia's length from the back of the front leg to the back of the rear leg. And then we adjusted the side bars the same way with these buttons. Once we had that to the correct measurement, we were able to put Mia's harness into the cart right here to clip her in. Her feet should be on the ground like they are, touching. If she has good legs, they're just a little bit weak right now, so she's able to use them. If they were paralyzed or weak, we would put them back in the stirrups. Okay, the next thing we did was we attached, we put the front harness on Mia, adjusted it, and then clipped it right in here on the sides. So everything is adjusted now, and um, Mia's comfortable in the wheelchair, and as you see, the wheelchair is parallel to the ground. The shoulder should, this part should hit right here, and um, I believe we're ready to go. The wheels are right in the middle where they should be. Uh, yeah, I want to talk a little bit about how to tell if the cart is in the right position, um, and if it's fitted correctly. As we were talking about, it's important that this knuckle go through the dog's back hips. Uh, basically, we want to support the dog from the hip area, like the back legs used to. In the front, we want the end, excuse me, Mia, Ruby. In the front, we want this clip here to be against the dog's shoulder, so that any downward pressure will be held by the leg, which is, again, as the dog was originally built. So this cart is adjusted well. Um, the back legs should be barely touching. It depends a little bit how strong the back legs are. If the back legs are very strong, they can be touching and she can actually use them to uh, continue to move. If they're weak, they can either drag with perhaps some boots or go here in the stirrups. Uh, it's important that we want to see this level so that although the measurements and adjustments are very useful what's important is that it be adjusted so that it's wide enough so there's about a half inch to an inch of room on either side that the knuckle here is in line with her hip and that the front support is in line with her shoulder so this dog is ready to go play